We actually wrote it, um, helped draft the bill, and went and supported uh, its passage. Um, I, I think I might have testified once. I don't remember if I did or not. I remember being there for it. I don't remember if I actually got to, but Aaron Fitzsimmons, I and mean, one of the first things I did when I took office was I started the first civil rights division, started the first gang unit, and had a special assistant for the environment. This woman, Aaron Fitzsimmons, she came out of the water keepers. And she very much advocated for the passage of it. Um, you know, it's a little bit like education, the environmental issue. Um, there, there, it's complicated, and there's not a real, there's not the silver bullet to it, but, you know, stormwater uh, runoff is, is certainly a big issue um, as part of it. I mean, we've really revamped and changed the way in which in our office, and I think Brian and, or John Carden would do a similar job on this, um, and keep pushing the envelope on the enforcement side of things. Now, I happen to get involved in a lot more of the enforcement because this was my issue, so we did these 24 river audits for the last eight years, and been pushing for the conversion of chicken manure to energy, and that'll be, be greatly enhanced when, when I become governor. Um, but in terms of the stormwater, you know, it's a good, the concept is a, certainly a good one. Am I naive enough to suggest there aren't problems with the way the law was drafted for the 10 counties versus the other ones? No, I think that we can, there's certainly me, means to revisit it, as was done during the legislative session, but not with an eye toward repealing, but with an eye toward making it maybe more balanced throughout the state.